Hey there, so today I'm gonna bring you a treasure hunt that was actually created by somebody else, or at least like a formula that I'm absolutely in love with, especially for indoor treasure hunts and also kids. It works really, really, really well for kids, but also anybody. So <clears throat> without further ado, uh, this is from the blog post of the 10 minute treasure hunt by another creator called The Puzzled Maker, who I'm gonna link all over this thing, uh, which basically just involves using a bunch of household items that belong in specific places. Uh, and then placing them in uh, new locations. And so you're going to use each one to try to find the next one. So the household items I'm going to use are a spoon. I'm going to use a toothbrush. I'm going to use this old, awesome uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Gold Edition N64 game. I'm going to use a cassette tape, because somehow my roommate likes cassette tapes. Uh, and then I'm going to use a drumstick. His initial list had a couple of these. It had a spoon, toothbrush, screwdriver, and a key, um, which is fantastic because these are all things that are always housed in one spot. That's the most important thing. I picked these things because the, the Zelda cassette is always in this one box. The toothbrush is always going to be in the bathroom. You wanna make sure you choose things. You know, If you're a parent and you're picking stuffed animals, it can be tricky because if your child takes that stuffed animal everywhere, it could be anywhere. And the fun of this is kind of knowing, oh yes, it's here. Uh, this isn't in his blog, but if you wanted to, you could go a little bit of a step further. It could be a little bit of like elf on the shelf, right? If you wanted to hide stuffed animals and put them in new places. But the purpose of this is to give them that like, oh yes, this is where the spoons are. And so it'll probably go pretty quick, thus the 10 minutes, but you can make it a little bit more difficult. Last thing you want is you want to find uh, some anchors. In my case, I use these little buttons I had for the Grand Hunt, but you can use anything. You can use coins, you can use sewing buttons, you can use keys, something that basically signifies like, yes, you found the right thing. All right, everything's in place. Let's send my roommate on another treasure hunt for a little bit of chocolate. All right, buddy. Um, you ready for this treasure hunt? Let's do it. Yep. All right. Uh, head to your desk. My desk. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know where that is. So far, killing it. Ooh. All right. Hell, I'm lost. Put me back where I belong. Okay. You can figure that out, right? Look at this. Yeah. Is it here? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Ooh. All right. Have this. These. Oh, I know where this goes. Okay. Yeah. Ah. I have understanding. I'm so proud of you, buddy. By the time we're done with quarantine, you're gonna be so smart. I know. This is just. This is exactly what I needed. All right. This is where this goes. So. All right, where's the toothbrush go? Mm. I don't know. Mm. I just want to like bolt. Do it. Scamper. Ooh, okay. So, this goes... It's just going to go in the living room or down in the basement? Mm -hmm. It has two spots. See, technically it does. You have to... I mean, you probably heard me. <laughs> I did not hear. I did not hear. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what up? What up, what up, what up, what up? Congratulations, I'm you so did excited. it! I love this every time. We're gonna get real smart and we're gonna get diabetes from all the chocolate. chocolate! <laughs> so there you have it. As you see, wonderfully simple, very elegant, no need for writing. You just take things and put them in the next spot. Uh, a couple of the variations uh, that he has in his blog, which is wonderful and you should go check it out, uh, is you could use playing cards or little notes and you could have with each note is a clue that your player puts together to find the final location. Um, there's also little love notes if you wanted to do it for someone just telling them how much you like them. It doesn't matter what the anchors are. Um, and even potentially you might not need them, but it does help kind of ground where to go next. Um, but by all means, let me know what you think. Uh, definitely follow along with the Puzzle Maker. He does really cool things on the opposite end of the world. Uh, and uh, keep along, and I'll keep adding more. Happy adventuring. <laughs>